So this weekend I've got to get back in here and finish painting, but I wanted to show you guys, well, aside from the mess in here, this is a tiny, tiny space. I mean, really tiny. And of course I had everything boxed up and out of here, but then Jack started getting into it, so I had to move it back in. But this weekend I'm gonna have everything packed up in boxes that I can close, take them out of here, and then I've got to finish painting and then I've got to figure out the layout of this room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure all the walls, measure the doors and the windows, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to measure all of the furniture that's in here so that I can see what layout is going to work and also if I have room for anything else. So I'm going to show you guys an app that I found that is incredible for planning out your room. It's really, really fun. It's an interior design app, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it because you're gonna be addicted and you're gonna to want to redecorate and rearrange your entire house once you get this app. So I started off with just a rough layout of the room, and then I went in and put all of my measurements down so that I can put these into the app. And then here are the measurements of the items that I have that I would like to put in this room. And I'm actually hoping that I'm gonna have room for a little bit more because storage is a little limited. I am gonna show you something a little bit different today. I wanna to show you this app that I have that first of all is a blast. I love playing around with it. Um, but it is so helpful if you're ever wanting to redecorate, rearrange a room, or if you're wanting to just see if that piece of furniture that you saw online would fit in your space. So the app that I'm talking about is called Tap Glance, and this is what it looks like. And when you get to Tap Glance, you're going to see that there are, the first thing that's gonna pop up are gonna be some options for subscriptions that you can get. Um, I don't ever pay the subscription, um, but it kind of gives you a little overview of what it'll do. And then see right here, it's gonna to come to the subscription manager. Um, I hope this doesn't come across as being tacky, but um, it has all these options and it makes it look like you have to choose either one of these subscriptions. But I noticed that if you just hit close, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> now you may not get all of the features, but the features that I'm gonna show you today are more than enough to help you design your space. Um, the other thing I noticed is if I straighten my iPad, see how it makes all those crazy wonky lines, but if I tilt it just slightly, those really bad lines go away. So we're gonna be a little bit at an angle today. Sorry, it's figured it's better on your eyes than that. All right, so when you get to the main screen, you're gonna notice I have three little blank things up here that say craft room, craft room copy one, craft room copy. And then, so these are ones that, these are actually ones that I've been working on. And then down here, there are gonna be some samples. So when you first open it, you're just gonna have these little two little sample boxes. And what you're gonna do is you're going to hit this little plus right here. So we're gonna go plus, and then we're gonna say new plan. And in this new plan, you are going to name your plan. So I'm going to call mine craft room example. All right, return, done. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch mine to inches because I did all of the measurements for my room in inches, and then I'm gonna hit done. So you're gonna need to know the width of all the walls, you're gonna need to know the height of the room, and you're gonna need to know the size of the windows and doors. That's just to start with, that's to help you get your floor plan. So I've got all my info here, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that. So I'm gonna go up here and you're gonna see craft room example, I'm gonna click on this. If at any time you get to the point where you decide that you want more, you can always click up here you'll see a little star and that's going to take you to the subscription options and you'll see the different options that you have they do have very high-tech things if you really wanted to get into this but for my purposes and what I'm going to show you today you don't need any of the paid ones so we're gonna close that out all right so now that we have this it says craft room example floor one because you can actually do multiple levels and so then I just have a blank page so we need to add a room to this so you're gonna see up here so we've got our green box right here 
over here, you're gonna click on this little button and it's gonna say add room and you're gonna choose the type of room that this is. So this is going to be my office. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna say home office and I'm gonna add that. Now you're gonna notice if any time you want those things to disappear, just tap on your iPad screen. You're gonna notice that it's gonna give you the square footage that it has for a home office. Well, this is not the square footage of my home office, so I need to change this. Sorry, I've gotta go crooked again, get rid of the wonky lines. So I need to change the square footage of this room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to tap on this, and you're gonna see the dots that come up. If you move the green dots, you can control one side at a time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this line until I get to my number. So I know that the, these walls are 98 inches, and then these walls right here are 103. And yes, this room is tiny. That's why I call it the office closet. It's so small. All right, so once you're done with that, click on this, and then you can move this around. All right, so now we know that I have a home office that is 70 square feet, which is about the size of most of your closets, but that's okay. All right, so now what we need to do, we've got our overall room layout, but now we need to add doors and windows. So, I'm going to come back up here to that little green box. The green box is gonna be where we're gonna go a lot. Click on this green box. All right, so I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna to go to interior. All right, now you're gonna notice it chooses a general wood floor and it's gonna go ahead and have some windows. No doors, just windows. Sounds like a really bad riddle. All right, so if you click so we want to get rid of these with these windows because these windows are not what I want. So right here, if you tap on an object, it's gonna say wall or window because it wants to know which one are you trying to get rid of. Well, we're trying to get rid of the window, so I'm gonna just click on this, and once it's red, we know it's highlighted, and then I have all my options right here. So I'm gonna hit the trash can and get rid of that window. I'm gonna come over here, click on this window, trash, window, trash. All right, so now I have one window right here. And this window, I know that I have only two inches between this window and this wall. And now I need to adjust the size of this window because this window is not the correct size for my craft room. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come up here and on this little bar, you're gonna see a little eye with a circle around it. And you're gonna click on this. And this is gonna be where you're going to modify your window sizes for the width of your window. So my window is 36 inches across. So I can adjust that there. And then you can do, you can also adjust the height of your window and you can adjust the height from the floor, which is really nice. You're gonna make all the adjustments that you need. And then what you're going to do is just hit done. And then you can move this window again. And so now I see that there's two inches space here. I have my window and then there's 65 inches here. Well, if you look at my little card, you'll see that that wall is 65 inches and that little wall is two inches. So I know that everything is correct. All right, so then the next thing that we're going to do, and you can actually choose your window. So if at any point you wanna see what this window looks like that they've given you, just click again on this little green button and you can do a 3D view and that will take you into the room. And if you click, you'll see right here, it looks like a little house. If you click right here, it's gonna give you a walkthrough room or dollhouse view, which looks like this, it's like a little box or you can click on this button and do the walkthrough, which, which actually puts you into the room. Now, the cool thing about this, which that's not actually what my window looks like, but the cool thing about this feature is down here in the bottom right corner, you're gonna see a little walking man. When you click on that, this is gonna be how you walk through your room. But what I love about this is if you click that little button at the top, there we go, focus friends. There we go. When you click on this little button at the top, it's gonna to show you a man or a person. We're gonna say it's gonna show you a person. So when you click on this button at the top, you're gonna see this person pop up. 
and you can adjust your height so it'll be your view. So since, no, I'm not a giant, hold on. I'm kind of a giant. All right, I'm 5'10". All right, technically 5'10 and a half, but you know, who's judging? All right, so this is my view and from my viewpoint, this is what it's like up in my world. And for my vertically challenged friends, let's get to my friend. There we go. This is your view of the room. Wow, it's very different. Okay, so. All right, so now that we're in this room and I see this is not the window that I want, what I can do is I can change this window. So if you see this little tab kind of sticking out over here, you're just gonna click, on, click that and it's gonna give you all these options on the side. And you're going to go down to architectural, click on that, choose windows, and then it's gonna have window options. So you can find the type of window that you actually have. So you can take this and you grab onto it. And if you, oh, if you click on it, it's gonna give you a preview of what the window looks like. But if you take it and drag it, you can actually place it into your room. So then I can click this window and get rid of it. Bye. And now I just need to make these adjustments so it matches the correct height. Cause this is my, this is my window. Now, let's change the wood floor. So, again, we're gonna go back to that tab. We're gonna go over here, and actually, with our floors, you're gonna see there's a little piece of furniture right here that's highlighted, it's a green chair. You're gonna click on this paintbrush, and this is gonna give you all of the options for the details of the materials that you're using in your room. So this is where you would change the color of your furniture, the color of your walls. You can even add your own materials, which is really amazing. Um, you can add paint colors as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change my floor. So I'm gonna go down here to wood. Let's go to boards. Find something similar to my floor. I'm gonna click, hold it down, drag it over and drop it and then I have my floors, okay? Now, I wanna show you guys, this is probably one of my favorite parts. All right, let's go back up to our view. Let's do 3D. And then I'm gonna come over here and I wanna show you, oh, anytime, so I'm on the floors right now, you just hit that back arrow and keep going back, there you go. So under user materials, you can upload your own materials. So what I did was I went online and I found a photograph of the paint color that I'm using for my walls. And what I've done is I just did a screenshot of it and I'm gonna go up to photos and I have my photos saved right here. So what did I just do? Oh, at any point you click something and you're not sure what you just did. There's a little back arrow. Yeah, I didn't do anything. It just acted weird. All right. So it let me upload some of my pictures. So the wallpaper I'm interested in, the paint colors I'm interested in, I'm actually debating between two wallpapers or if I want to just go ahead and hand paint or stencil one of my walls. I'm kind of up in the air, but what's great about this is it lets you choose. So watch, I'm gonna grab my paint color because I already know this is the paint color I want. And I'm just gonna drag and drop it. And it's just going to go onto your walls and then this wall is going to be one of my feature walls. Here, let's back up a little bit so you can see it better. All right, so this is gonna be one of my feature walls. My door actually goes right here, but I will add that in a little bit. This is one of the wallpapers I was looking at. Isn't that fun? I'm a little nervous about it. We'll see how this goes, but this is one of my wallpaper choices. The other one is I have this that I originally was gonna do for the boys' bathroom, um, and that bathroom project has been just put on hold for a while. So we're thinking about completely reconfiguring the bathroom, which is why we kind of put a pause on that. And so once we figure out what we actually want to do, then we'll come kind of come back to the drawing board. So for now, I own this wallpaper and I own this wallpaper. So this one is really fun and vibrant. It's really exciting and I love this wallpaper. It will actually be on a smaller scale than this, but this is as close as I could get to what it looks like. 
I just don't know. Oops. Oh, come on. Go back. Photo. There we go. So I just don't know. Okay, so you guys, let me know in the comments below. All right, we're gonna call. All right, we're gonna go with, this is option one, or you can vote. Oh, and here, there's the close-ups of them. That's that one. And this one is actually like little feathers, and these little, what looks like tan on here is actually a metallic gold. So that's option, sorry, option one. If you like that, put that in the comments, or option two, put that in the comments, because I'm really torn on this. All right, so you guys can help me with that. Once we've come out here, we're gonna get out of our 3D view and get back into our layout. We need to add a door. So over here, this has, this is kind of your starting point for your design. So we're gonna go to the architectural panel, doors. We're going to go to interior door. And these are kind of hard to see. Okay, that's close enough. Grab this, drop it here. Now what I like about this is, see how this door is, is swinging out this way? You can actually adjust that. So you can come up here and click this little button. There we go. You can click on this little button and it'll adjust which way the door swings, in or out and which side. So this is actually the way my door swings. And then what you can do is you can actually go to your information and you can put to close the door, which I like, because otherwise it just opens out into space. So we're gonna have that door closed. So I know that on this wall, it, there are there's six inches of space between the door and the wall. And then we've got 60 inches. 60 inches, there we go. All right, oh, that's why, so I forgot. So when you put it on here and you click closed to have the door closed, um, it will show up when we go to the 3D view, so I'll show you. I totally forgot about that. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's close this so we can see a little bit better. Let's go to our green panel, go to 3D, and now you'll be able to see, let's, walk our little person over here. There's our window, and there's our door closed. All right, now for the window, you can leave it like this, just completely plain, or if you wanna have some fun with it, you can kind of come up to the paintbrush. Whoa, sorry about that, guys. There we go. All right, so for the window, you can actually add the environment, which is kind of fun. So you can choose what you're looking at outside. So I can put some nice trees outside. <laughs> that fun. All right, so here is my room so far. There is my closed door. And now we're going to add some details. So this is the point where you need to make sure you go in and you take measurements of every item that's gonna go in your room. So I just went through my room, went through my house, thought about different possibilities of furniture, things that I wanna use, and then that's, I wrote down, I did all the measurements, and so I have this ready to go so that I can see what can we fit into 70 square feet of tiny, tiny room. And now we can start to add details. Oh, wait, I forgot. So sorry. Forgot, forgot. We need another door. I totally forgot. I have a closet in here. All right, so my closet is, let's see, 16 inches from this wall. And Sixteen inches from this wall, and then this door is actually thirty-five inches wide. It's a little bit narrower. It's my closet, and we're gonna put that closed as well. Done. All right. So now we have our closet in. Now we can start adding some details. So the most important thing for me is to add my desk because that is, you know kind of needed. So I'm going to go in here and 
As you go through, you're gonna see kitchen, calico products, kitchen, dining and living room, bathroom, bedroom, other rooms. You're gonna click on other rooms if you're doing a uh, children's room, game room, gym, office, or pet furniture. So I'm gonna do office. And then it has different types of desks. And you'll see these are the types of desks. I imagine with a subscription, you probably have more options for furniture, but I have found that I can get away with just the general idea because it gives me measurements and that's what I really need. So none of these desks look anything like the desk I wanna use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna go to dining and living room and I am going to go to dining room tables. All right, so let's see. Which one do I want? Uh, we'll go with this one. All right. So I'm going to click on this, hold it down, move it in here. This is my desk. Now, my desk, I know, is not this size. All right, so this is my desk. Now, if you come in here and you just start moving these and you're gonna see these numbers change, this is simply telling you the distance between your desk and the wall. This is not telling you the size of your desk. In order to change the size of your desk, you need to click on information and then you can make the adjustments in there. For example, my desk is 52 inches long and it is 24 inches deep. And then, and it is 32 inches high. So now close this and you're going to see a green side. The green side is showing you the side that needs to face out. So I'm just going to click up right here on this far left side. That's going to be to rotate. And this is a free rotating button at the green, or you can do it by five degree increments. I've, all right. So now that I have this, I'm going to place this. Now notice this kind of clicks to the wall. That's because under the information button, I have it snap to objects, snap to walls. I'm actually gonna undo the snap to objects button because it drives me crazy when it snaps to the wrong object. I would rather control that. Now snap to walls, I am all for because if you don't choose snap to walls, your um, furniture will end up going into the wall. And so I don't want that. I need to know exactly how it fits. All right, so here's my desk. So for me, the dilemma has been, I would like to use this tiny space as a place that I can record videos for you guys on YouTube, but also have it hold all of my very, very many craft supplies for all of my craft projects and hobbies. So it's kind of been a dilemma. It's like, I need to make it pretty. I need to make it functional and I need to make it to where I can also have it as a slight studio so that I can record videos because I'm tired of getting all of my stuff out of this room and going somewhere in my house to record a video. I just need it all in one spot. So I've got my desk here. I'm gonna go back and click on chairs. This one, I'm not quite as worried about measurements. I didn't measure a chair just because I haven't found a chair that I really love. And for the most part, chairs are just chairs. All right. So we will take this and we will rotate it. And then I am going to shrink that down a tiny bit. Okay. Oh, that's really high off the floor. All right. So here is my chair. Yeah, so the other thing to keep in mind for me when you're doing your voting is that wallpaper is gonna be the backdrop for my future videos, so keep that in mind. Okay, so there are a couple other features that I wanna show you in here, and then I'm going to take you to a finished room because you don't need to see me putting together all of the details. I want to show you, we're going to go back up here, other rooms, offices, cabinets, and then I'm going to get a file cabinet here. I'm going to move this over. 
and that file cabinet, when I do my information, the width is 14 inches, the depth is 18 inches, whoops, and the height is 28 inches. All right, so I'm going to take off the snap to objects, but keep snap to walls, hit done and then I can move this to where it needs to go. This is my file cabinet and I'm gonna put a printer on this. So when I click on this, I can go to computers. And look, they even have a printer that I can put on here. And I don't know if this is the exact size. I don't care, I just need an example of a printer on there. All right, now, one thing I did want to show you, so we're gonna go into the 3D view so we can see the room from here. Let's go back here. I'll put the height at a more normal person's range. All right, so here is what I have so far. Not a lot in here because it's not a huge room. And I still have more storage room. I still have more space over here that I need to maximize. And then I actually have um, a cube, a little storage cube, a cube storage bin that can go under this desk without it actually interfering with, you know, my feet going under there. But I wanted to show you when you're in this view, so this is wood, but in real life, this is black. So if I wanted to change this, what you do is you're going to come up here to the paintbrush and let's see, let's go to paint, darks, and this is gonna have all my dark color options. And I'm just gonna hold this down and then you're gonna see, this is gonna, things are gonna pop up. It's gonna show you the black wheels, it's gonna show you the silver pools and then the wood feature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the black and I'm going to drag it over here onto this piece of furniture. And you notice it's not gonna show up again because it's asking you now, wait, are you wanting the wheels black or the pools black or are you wanting the furniture? So I'm gonna click the wood right here and now that turned black. So this is one of those things that I kinda had to figure out. It was not very self-explanatory. Maybe there's some great tutorial out there. I just didn't see it. So I've been just playing with this for a while and figured it out. But that is how you change the color of the items in your room. So you can also, this is one of the other things that I really love. Let's go back here and we're gonna add some, let's see. <clears throat> so I have the Ikea pegboards that I want to go in my office and my Pegboards, they don't have pegboards as an option here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to decor. When you click on decor, you're gonna see you have options for aquariums, candles, clocks and mirrors, frames and paintings, indoor plants, miscellaneous, rugs, vases, window treatments. So I'm gonna come up here to frames and then up here, the top ones, these are your custom frames where you can actually add images to them. And then down here, they have some stock artwork that you can use for the walls just to kind of get an idea. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, that one looks fine, I'm going to take that and move it over here. Now this is the first time I, you're seeing me add something in the 3D view and when you do you're going to see, things are going to look like this. You're going to see the arrows. This is going to show you the red one goes back and forth. This green one goes horizontal, the yellow goes vertical. And it doesn't matter which side you click on, you can move it just side to side. All right, so for my Ikea pegboard, what I'm gonna do is for the width, we're gonna go to 30, and the height is 22. And then for depth, I'm just gonna leave it at an inch because close enough. All right, we're gonna click take off, snap to objects, and done. So I am going, oops, move this back onto the wall, move this over. And then, 
so I know that I have two of these. So what I can do now is I can actually come up here and hit that little plus sign. And that's going to double what I've done. And then when you're gonna go up here to this far left, you're gonna see the little direction arrows. And then you can take the one that you duplicated and move it over. Okay, now this one is clicking to the wall. See how it like automatically snapped over there? So I'm gonna go up to information and I'm gonna turn off snap to wall. And now we have a little bit more control about where it's gonna go because I don't want it right on the wall. All right, just tap on the room and you're done with that. So you're gonna see drag photo here. So you can upload whatever images you want. I actually went onto the IKEA website and did a screenshot of their pegboard so that I could just put that in there. So I'm gonna to go to my photos. I'm going to click on my pegboard image and I'm just gonna drag it and I'm gonna drop it. And this is gonna say, do you want that to go on the frame or the picture? On the picture. And then look, I actually have my IKEA pegboard right there. Isn't that cool? So. All right, so this is ready. We need to add some more furniture over here. You can change up the floors. You can add window treatments. You can, you can add so much to this. It's really, really fun. But I wanna show you the finished product. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna, in the top right, you're gonna see the X. We're gonna click on this. And this is going to take us back to that main menu. And I'm just gonna click on my craft room. And I've made a few of these because I was not sure about my layout. Now don't panic if you pull up your craft room and it looks just like this. Just remember you need to go to the green tab, click on that, and then you're going to go to 3D view. And here we have it. So here is my craft room. So I've got my little cubicle thing under here for storage, my pegboards, wallpaper, this is actually a little filing cabinet, and then let me walk forward and I'll give you a tour on the, from the other side. Isn't that great? It looks so real. All right, so then we're gonna swing around. I've got a little hanging plant. And then over here, I have some cubbies that I've actually purchased from Ikea that I need to build. And then these are my little black jewelry. Um, it's like little sorting boxes. They normally, you can find them at hardware stores and they sort like screws and all sorts of hardware like that. And I'm using it to actually store my jewelry making supplies and all of my findings. So those are gonna go on that wall. And then this wall, I'm thinking about doing a frame wall here um, and putting up some artwork there. I'm not 100% I'm not yet, but that, is my craft room. Now I'll show you the other layout, which was way too chaotic and kind of stressed me out. Um, let's see, is it this one? Yes, oh, this one's terrible. Okay, <laughs> I'll show y'all. All right, so <laughs> this is before I knew about the Ikea, um, putting the pictures from Ikea. This was also before I knew that I could put wallpaper in. You had, I just chose one of their wallpapers, but I put my Ikea cubicles here, and then this is here, but realistically, like when you open this door, the door's right here. So this just doesn't work. I needed it to go back farther. And then I also wanted to put in, I have a red pie safe, and I have a green little tea cart. So I put those over there, and this is just so crowded. Look at this, oh, there's that, that um, black cabinet. This is before I changed any of the colors, before I knew you could change any of the colors. Um, also before I knew you could close doors. So look, when you come over here, you'll see, look at my door when it's open. <laughs> you go out to a park. It's just like a random office in the middle of the park. Also before I knew you could change the custom colors. So anyway, this is my bad one. Yuck, go away. And this is my good one that I like. It's so much better once you can change the colors. And I know that this is a really tight space, but I think it's, you know, I have to do with what I have, and this is what I have. I have 70 square feet in which to run businesses out of and a YouTube channel, and it's my little kind of secret room. Every time Jack goes into it, he goes, oh, 
I love this. What is this place? Because I always keep the door closed. <laughs> we don't come in my office very often. Um, mainly because he likes to, you know, undo everything that I have done. All right, well, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this app, please feel free to comment, um, ask me anything. I'm happy to help. If there's something that I did not cover that you have questions about, you can also reach me on my Good Golly Gal Instagram page. You can message me there, and I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. So hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope you will come up with your own amazing projects. If you do and you share it on your social media, be sure to tag me so that I can see it because I love seeing what people create. Oh, let me show you the, uh, let's go. Let's go to the dollhouse view real fast so you can see. The dollhouse view is really cute when you're done. Look, it's like a little tiny room. Isn't that cute? Anyway. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a ton. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would subscribe. Thank you for joining me guys. And, oh, and be sure to continue to follow along because this is going to become reality. I'm actually working on this for the one room challenge. So I'm going to be sharing daily progress on my Instagram, good golly gal, but big projects. I'm going to put all of that over here on YouTube. So thanks again, guys, for joining me and I will see y'all next time. Bye.